Police tell CBS News they are responding to reports of an active shooter at a supermarket in Boulder, Colorado. Aerial footage shows SWAT teams surrounding the King Supers grocery store south of downtown Boulder. It is unclear how many people have been hurt. Earlier, witnesses could hear police telling the suspect or suspects over a bullhorn, quote, surrender now. Here's Mola Lenghi with the latest. 911 here now. We're it was shortly before 3 p.m. when the first active shooter alert went out at the King Super supermarket. Dozens of police officers responded with guns drawn as well as first responders. He went in the store. He went right down there. Oh my God. Video from inside the grocery store appears to show victims on the ground. A young man who was bleeding was led away in handcuffs and put in an ambulance. A second older man also bleeding was also escorted away. Police could be seen on the rooftop with a saw. There was glass blown out in front of the supermarket. The entire building is surrounded. About an hour after the first calls, people could be seen exiting the store. Medevac helicopters landed on scene and at least one ambulance was spotted racing away. It's unclear how many other victims were injured. For more, I want to bring in Connor McHugh from our Denver station, KCNC. Connor, thanks for being with us. What is the very latest that you're seeing on the ground? Well, right now we are seeing more and more resources uh, show up to the scene. We've seen a number of officers from Denver and different metro area departments. There's also countless uh, cruisers and SWAT members from Boulder here. It's still a quite active scene, but uh, it has calmed down just a little bit as uh, the bullhorns and the communication with whoever they were trying to communicate with has stopped uh, and they have uh, extended the scene a little bit. So they appear to have a little bit more control over the scene here at the King Supers in Boulder. I know this is very much active, Connor, but what are authorities saying? We are still waiting to hear from authorities. They've set up a, a, a separate area and we're awaiting a press conference. We have not heard much other than that they are investigating an active scene, that they are bringing in all kinds of resources, but we're still waiting to hear about anyone in custody. We are still waiting to hear about who may be affected by this, if this is a secure scene or if it is still an ongoing scene. We're, we're still waiting to hear a lot of that from Boulder or any of the other uh, departments that are here responding to this. Well, earlier, Connor, I know you spoke to a man whose family witnessed one of the shootings. We're going to go ahead and play that sound. Let's listen to that. I got the call from my daughter that my grandchildren and my son-in-law were walked into the pharmacy for him to get a COVID-19 shot. And the shooter came in, shot the woman in front of them. They hid, ran upstairs or hiding in a coat closet for the last hour and trying to stay in contact with my daughter. They're okay. They just are now out the back. They had, you know, a half a dozen um, stormtroopers, you know, half a dozen cops came in through the roof, got them, and then told them, you know, stay quiet, and they, they're okay. I just, this is not okay with me. And this is a, put in a big pitch for gun control. And, and you know, this is, you know, when it's your family, you feel it. It's just chilling, Connor, to hear those details. What else can you tell us about what you've been hearing from witnesses? Well, we spoke with a, another gentleman who was inside the store shopping at the time. He said it was somewhat busy. He heard three loud bangs. He wasn't sure if it was gunshots, if it was something else, but it was loud enough and startling enough for him to just drop his stuff and start running. He described what could only really be described as both chaotic and orderly as uh, people were gathering and going hand to hand and walking, uh, rushing in a single file line hand to hand to get to safety and out the back of the store, yelling at other people who were unaware of what was going on to get out of the way. I know some of my other colleagues are in different corners of this area and have spoken to other people who have heard multiple gunshots, who have uh, hid to be in safe places, uh, and we're working to get more and more of these stories to get a better picture of, of what happened earlier this afternoon. And Connor, what do we know about a possible suspect at this point? Again, we're waiting to hear a lot more from Boulder police. Uh, we do know that from our, our 
our station helicopter that was in the sky about an hour or two ago. Uh, we did see someone who was bloodied up and in handcuffs taken out, but we're, we have not yet learned anything about that from authorities. Other than that, we are still waiting to hear if, if there is anyone in custody, if they are still looking for anyone. Uh, we did hear them on the bullhorn urging people to surrender earlier, but we are again still waiting to find out exactly uh, what that situation is from Boulder Police. All right, Connor McHugh in Colorado for us. Connor, thank you very much.